Today I will be alone for this vlog because you are going to join me for my get ready with me routine but really the purpose for this video is to answer the questions from my previous video from four years ago uh, I posted about how to marry someone from the US military or if you have a US military service member boyfriend what are you going to go through what type of process and I know marami akong hindi na replyan so Tagalog no I'm actually Bisaya so um sa katong wala na replyan I'm so sorry I was pregnant um last 2020 and then I gave birth I stopped YouTube entirely and I haven't been uploading about military life because it's gonna be another story pero this time since I am still getting a lot of questions from my Filipina sisters. I know it's really tough when you are trying to go through this process and there's a lot of questions, so I'm gonna be here to address all of that. So today, actually, let's get my mirror. I am attending a my first quinceanera. In the Hispanic um, culture, they actually celebrate the 15th birthday of their daughter because it's like coming out of coming of age kind of thing. So sa ato apa in the Philippines, we do the 18th birthday and then in American culture it's the sweet 16. So they have the quinceañera and um I actually did my hair na curly curly. So we will be there and um I found out that this will be a great time for us to talk about um, your questions about your military service member boyfriends or fiance. All right, so before that, let's protect my hair. Can a girl na Um, the first thing I do when I do glam makeup is the eyes. So mag eyes na kay puffy na kay tag face. Hubag kay face ba? It's already like one a.m. No, one p.m. day. There is a text. So it's October, uh, November six today. Though I'm using this CeraVe, I like using this um, pang makeup artist talaga. So CeraVe Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Serum. For me, it's important that you already have established that bonding, that relationship, and then meet up, you know? You can't just decide everything online. There's a lot of people who scam people these days. And it's not easy because we are trying to live, you know, every day trying to earn, save up. And then, we scam lang tayo. So, make sure talaga that they meet your parents. You have already met each other. And then, another green flag, if you know that they're legit, you're a fam boyfriend or fiancé, is that if you've already talked talk to their um, parents, you know, video call, not call, okay? You have to see their faces. Um, if you've talked to, her, to their friends, to their best friends, um, before you even saw each other or even after seeing each other making sure that you know you know their history they know where they ca came from and that they're a really legit person they're not catfishing you hindi kayo niloloko kasi ang daming manloloko sa internet ngayon binibigyan po kayo ng pay and check in nangyari na po yun sa akin dito when I was trying to look for a job and he, you had no idea kung gano kalala so I'm just warning you if for example, if they're asking you for money for the processing, that's already a red flag. So make sure that you ask beforehand why are they asking for payment. That's like the most like the top two questions that most people ask me from that video. Um kasi daw processing fee for the marriage approval. So during my time, Hindi po ako nagbayad, hindi po kami hiningan, and I don't think the military would ask you to pay for it. Um, excuse me. The only thing that I, sorry, busag. The only thing I paid for, or we paid for together, was um, your medical um, requirements because you have to go through that. Of course, it's out of pocket, no? Um, I actually went to St. Luke's to get to get it because apparently that's the only medical center na accredited from the US government so um, okay I'm already hydrated 
So for my face, I don't really use foundation, but I use this one, the Milani Conceal Perfect Two in One Foundation. So, gamit na gamit, and then I just put lang a little bit, and I like blending it with my with my hands. White lady long bag, <laughs> pero trust the process. Anyway, <clears throat> so going back to the topic, let me just refill. Um, Retouch. I forgot to mention it's always nice. I like putting um, lip balm when I'm prepping my face. Okay, so you will know if it's legit also if you check the document, if it's official. Um, malalaman niyo po at malalaman niyo talaga if it's fake or not. Um, if the document looks so sketchy, like parang. Malalaman niyo talaga kasi official yung document kasi may logo na military depending kung saan galing yung um fiancé niyo po if they're um, air force or army you will know talaga po if it's an official document so um by the way I'm going to use this sorry ang gulo ko hindi talaga ako vlogger full spectrum cover girl brightening concealer eliminates malalaman niyo po if legit kasi Ito check niyo po yung document eh. Merong copy yung fiancé niyo. That's the first thing. Kasi sa military kasi, nag sila ng permission uh, to marry because, um, what do you call this? It's part of their process. Kasi nga, you know, ang dami kasi mga failed marriages within military members. Yung iniiwan nila yung, um, yung spouses nila or nag divorce kasi nga hindi siya easy um palagi silang they move around so they travel a lot depending kung saan sila dadalhin na military so um they really have to check that's why there's this so called marriage process at first hindi ko po siya maintindihan sobrang hirap nung process namin kasi ang dami kong pinagdaanan lahat dami paperwork nakakaano talaga, chinachallenge talaga yung um, patience mo kasi sometimes pag nagsasubmit kami ang daming mali-mali, binabalik so, imbes na ma-follow yung schedule namin to get married or yung marriage wedding schedule namin, hindi namin ma-follow-follow kasi nga ang daming mga chechebureche so another question as well is that um can they actually send you an invitation letter to visit so that I know very well how crazy the visa processing is. Grabe. Sobrang yun yung first high blood ko talaga. <laughs> Napaka unfair kasi parang it's just hard for us to go to another country. You know, pahirapan talaga even if, you know, afford naman ng ibang tao. During my time, um, I was in Cebu when we were processing the marriage you know requirements so i had to fly out to korea from time to time especially if i have to sign documents or if we have to do an in-person meeting with any of the um military personnel so you that was the only time and i also noticed that it it was time consuming because you know we were apart and he's busy at work i was also busy at work and I think personally it would help if you guys can afford it that you should just move in together so that you're gonna be on base and process it together and it's gonna be faster because you can hold each other accountable po. You know, ma follow up ni po na mas mabilis kasi nga si fiance busy yan eh, depending kung ano yung work niya. So yeah, so that's my recommendation. And also um during my time, we we opted na I don't get the fiancé visa kasi nga he was overseas. So if you get the fiancé visa, you have to get married, I think, in the States. So if yung visa nyo ma-approve agad, like super dali. And also for the U.S. military members, um, they're very generous with the visa. So... Kasi nga, malayo sila, ba? And, you know, they don't have all the time in the world. It's so hard to take leaves. So, they actually give that benefit to them. That, you know, their dependent can get the visa quickly. So, for us, we didn't opt that route. Um, mas pinili namin mag magpakasal sa Philippines. Kasi, nakakakuha ka na naman ng 
ano eh, um, ng dependent sofa visa depending on saan po maa-assign or masa-station yung husband nyo. Kahit wala ka pang green card or residence permit, nag issue po sila and then you can start processing at that point while magkasama kayo. May sense ba? <laughs> so, pwede po kayo mapakasal. Kung na-approve na po lahat yung requirements nyo, from the military na magpakasal, pwede po kayo magpakasal sa Pilipinas. Ang dali-dali ng process po, um, just make sure na alam nyo lang talaga yung requirements at may guidelines kayo. Super dali kasi you can go with your husband-to-be kung saan po siya masa-station. Kasi nga, pwede niya po kayong ma-add as a dependent, as a spouse. Especially if may marriage certificate na kayo. You don't have to be a uh, permanent resident already to go with him kung saan po siya ma-station. So, by that time po, pwede po kayong um, for example, sa Korea, nakakuha po ako ng sofa card. So, it's it's like a resident visa. Hindi naman po siya resident. It's like a visa for US dependent, uh, US member dependents. So, magagamit mo yan and it will only be valid also during that time na nandun po yung um, yung husband niyo po. So, that's what happened to me. Oh my god. Mali. <laughs> By the way, I am using Maverick from Revlon. I really like those drugstore makeup. Kasi ang ganda. And it's very tacky. Pwede mo siyang dalhin if you're traveling. So, makakapag makeup ka pa rin if you need a glam makeup. So, um, another thing that I could just say, you know, and um, advice is like, have your service military member, your fiancé, siya talaga yung in charge eh. Siya yung responsible for that process. Kasi siya yung may connection, you know, sa military. Alam niya kung sino yung dapat niyang kausapin. And then the number one person na dapat niyang kausapin is yung shirt nila. So they call it the shirt. Parang ano, guidance counselor ng mga military people. So, young person na yan at saka yung um, supervisor niya. Dapat talaga at this point of time, so I'm also talking to the service members as well, you have to find that support kasi it's so hard. It's not easy to process and it it is really, it affects the relationship of the both of you, you know. But um, going back to those red flags, if you already asked yourself kung scam ba or no, eto lang talaga yung question ko sa inyo. Okay, I'll ask you a question. Ba't nyo nasasabing scam? Wala ba kayong trust sa fiancé nyo? Or does it goes to show lang po? You know, I'm not, you know, I don't want to offend any of you. But I just want you to understand, bakit nyo po natatanong yan sa sarili nyo? Um, hindi nyo ba po kilala na masyado yung fiancé nyo? Bakit po siya naging fiancé nyo if feeling mo, if feeling nyo skinaskam kayo, ba? So, importante talaga na let's go back, nakikila na rin talaga natin kasi, oh my goodness. Hindi po easy pumunta ng abroad and malalaman mo lang if yung husband mo pala is, you know, hindi for real, fake pala. So, imagine nyo po, wala po kayong family dito, wala po kayong kakilala, kayo-kayo lang po tas yung mapapangasawa nyo po, hindi po pala totoo, or, you know, I'm gonna put in some gold. Oh, it's looking really nice. Oh, diba? Pack. Okay, so, I'm done with my eyes. Super glam na glam talaga. Um, I'm gonna put na my eyeliner. And, um, I like using the pencil eyeliner. It's super easy ilagay, ibutang. <laughs> Naglibog na. <clears throat> okay. And um, I just wanna say to all of you, my Pinay girlies, hindi talaga easy mag-ano, magkipagrelasyon sa mga afam. Kasi expected talaga na we were gonna have a lot of paperwork para lang makasama sila. But at the end of the day, it's going to be very worth it, especially if your husband is mabait. And we also went through the same struggles as you guys are going through right now, yung processing, being patient, um, 
just wondering if you know if it if it's all gonna end but talaga kailan ba talaga mag end and then um kapit lang laban lang kasi pinili natin tong type of relationship you know um wala tayong makitang pinoy eh so i know that in this part of your journey there's a lot of doubts um you're scared you know it's a big it's a major life event that you're going through um hindi siya madali and ang dami dami niyo pang naranasin you know this is just the beginning um yung advice ko po na i-double check niyo lang po make sure na legit po yung fiance niyo at ipakilala niyo po sa family niyo um i-involve niyo po sila kasi you know they're gonna be part of your journey um malalaman at malalaman niyo talaga if matino yung lalaki if you know willing talaga siyang bumisit meet your family know our culture as filipinos i i wish also for the service members for the foreigner guys mga afam also do your part you know because filipinos has its own culture and i want to point out that you have to respect it and just go over there and visit their family the family of your fiance show that you're worthy of being part of their family and bringing their daughter to you know to wherever you're stationed at because you know we've never left philippines we've always lived in the, in the philippines or with our parents in our parents house our whole lives we're only leaving until we get married sometimes nga, hindi nga tayo umaalis. we don't even move out even if we get married especially if you know the family ties are close we still live with them so um yeah that's just my one of my advice Kasi doon niyo po talaga malalaman eh. Everything about them. Huwag na huwag po kayo mag accept ng online proposal. Know your worth po. Kasi, uh, ang daming mga loko ngayon. Especially sa internet. Niloloko nga tayo in person eh. Sa online pa ba? It's also important na makakita po kayo ng um, mentor or ng life advisor. Or someone that you trust po na you look up to as a mentor na feeling nyo po is makakatulong to help you decide in this special endeavor in your life kasi hindi siya madaling mag-decide and um the self po, number one yung talaga yung super um, mas maganda yung gawin ipagdasan nyo po to yung sitwasyon na to na you know it's important na it's important na alam mo kung saan po kayo kakapit you know, especially if the times are rough, you know, you have God to hold on to. So, I'm a Christian myself, and having that spiritual connection to God helped me um, get through what I went through, you know, what my husband and I went through when we were in that certain position. Ito na yung face natin. I like it naman so far. Um... Pa lipstick na lang. Uh, tapos I have my Naked Truth lip balm. Mix mix na lang. Yan, ang ganda na labas, di ba? Hindi siya masyadong red. Ah, I love it. Parang naging nude yung color. Super love. Tingnan natin yung result without this. <laughs> Okay, wow. So, walang mascara kasi naubusan ng mascara. Sad. Pero hindi naman talaga ako makapag-mascara because wala na akong eyelashes. Kaya ayaw ko na pong magpa-extensions eh. Kasi nawala yung eyelashes ko when I had that extension. So, I'm done! <laughs> Ang ganda naman ako sa sarili ko kasi paminsan-minsan lang. Pero thank you po for joining me today's for today's vlog. And alam ko po na there's still a lot of questions that you have in mind. And I hope that I was able to answer the most pressing one, yung super na-importante po na 
gusto niyo malaman for today. And if you have any more questions pa po, you can send me an email. I know I have that in my YouTube channel. And you can also follow me in my on my Instagram, Giselle Reboyar. It's the same name. And try to DM me po. And I will do my best to answer them uh, now that I have, I think, time to answer. And you Facebook po, I know that may nag add po sa ito po sa inyo. Na may nag add po sa inyo. Ang hihirap talaga sa Tagalog. Ang nakahirapan ako. Kaya na mag add sa Facebook. Um, sorry po, I couldn't accept the friend request because that's a private use for me. Um, that's something that I, I just use with my family and friends to share my whereabouts. So I hope you understand po. If you do ask questions from there, I wouldn't be able to reply kasi um, I only reply sa YouTube po at my Instagram po. So I hope you understand and I will pray for all of you po who's going through the same situation and who has some struggles and challenges. And I know everything's gonna be alright. Um, lipas din po ang lahat. And God bless you po. Thank you for watching my vlog. And I'll show you the outfit on the next vlog and about the whole quinceanera thing. So, have a great weekend.